So when I sat down to design Temple OS, I knew I needed a, uh, well, I, I got the command line up and running, and then I said, how am I going to interpret the command line? And uh, my first thought was, uh, well, I want the same language for scripting that I want for the command line. And uh, I got to thinking, you know, I really hate the Unix scripting languages. They're pussy languages. They're, they're just awful. I just like, why not just C, you know? Um, so uh, how could that work? So, uh, well, um, it's C. Okay, so um, if a statement is outside a function, it executes immediately. Okay, so... Um, and it, it, I took default arguments from C++, so now you can just say dir like that. It has a default. And you know what? Uh, since uh, brevity is important at the command line, I thought, you know what? I'm going to make um, parentheses optional if, uh, if you have no args. So now that's that looks like Pascal. I hate it when people call it Pascal. They're stupid. Anyway, um, so uh, uh, so from the Commodore 64, you can move off the bottom. Um, so what we are, we're editing a document. This is imagine you're writing a word processor, and uh, you stream standard out into the cursor location. And uh, standard in, there's a, uh, well, okay, I, I, I got ahead of myself. Okay, so there's widgets like, uh, well, they're widgets, uh, links and macros. And uh, you see this uh, PT, that's the, beginning, that's the beginning of the prompt. And that causes another thing, that causes another thing. If you move the cursor onto this line, it kicks it over to the, uh, to the uh, PT. So anyway, so uh, now we can come up here and um, edit and uh, say star uh, star dot t star. Okay, so uh, um, we it's like like the Commodore. You can come off the bottom. So. What about command line history? Well, I said, oh boy, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a uh, a hotkey to a uh, a uh, so I started with the Windows key, but that I had problems with that with VMware and stuff. So Control M is uh, the menu. Control M is your men. This is a uh, this is like the idea was command line history. And what I did here is I made a bunch of macros that uh, do a change directory and then do a directory. I guess if the whole world wanted ls instead of dir, maybe I could change it. Um, I don't know. Oh, well. So uh, now everybody says, oh, command line, uh, at least all the wimps. Uh, the wimps complain about command lines, um, but you know what? If you have uh, cursor keys, it's not painful. Typing is painful. No one wants to type long stuff, but if you have Control M and then cursor keys, it's not painful if you move the cursor key. That's not anyway. So what do we have here? So macros. Well, why not put pictures and have macros? So these are sprites. Now uh, this is this Control M is actually a document. Um, the menu is the document. So you you navigate like a document. So it's starting to get weird, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Um, so as a matter of fact, we can cut and paste onto the clipboard. Control Insert, Control V, and then uh, you do Escape to get out. Watch this. I'm gonna paste. I'm gonna paste it on the command line. Wow! It's all the same. It's the same editor everywhere. Everywhere is the same editor. Isn't that cool? Now, now these macros are uh, 
they, they've spawned a new task so if I hit um, now I was I did this the hard way or the easy way I don't know what you want to call it um, someone said there's a uh, a uh, the way doom was done was with uh, rate not ray tracing but uh, anyway so these are done with uh, filling triangles um, but you know what anyway oh I want to show off my uh, my flight simulator this is an eight core flight simulator um, anyway so um, anyway so uh, it the same word processor is used everywhere so at the command line it's used the source code is actually uh, look at this if we go into this castle Frankenstein we have graphics in the source code isn't that cool see we have I even have 3d meshes that I made it's the same editor everywhere so um, now getting back to the command line um, so uh, dir um, so control shift F2 goes to you can look at the commands um, so uh, F1 will give you you can look at common command line well this is the there's plenty of documentation um, so uh, Oh, let's look at the common command line routines. So, uh, change directory, change disk, check disk, copy, copy tree, dump block, dump cluster, delete file, delete files, delete tree, diff files, directory. This is a, a live uh, dump of memory. Um, this sets the doc max sets the uh, the command line buffer to to infinite or whatever you want um, <clears throat> the, the I lied uh, watch this if we if we make a uh, let's do a uh, this feeds it this feeds into a C compiler um, holy C so and if a statement is outside of a function then it executes immediately and to run files you include them for i equals one semicolon i less or equal to n semicolon i plus plus and if you have a print a string by itself is a printf um, so I I made the command I made the holy c is better than c so I just counted to 10. Now remember I said doc max uh, makes your command line buffer infinite. Well here's here's what happens if we say uh, somebody was not impressed with this. I said this is faster than any other. Try this benchmark counting to a, a million outputting to the command line. Of course I kind of cheat um, but uh, it only takes three seconds. Um, two sec what no actually it tells how many seconds at the bottom it took 1.68 seconds so the command line buffer it goes to a document however uh, it starts deleting after a while you can make it not delete but it gets pretty big and anyway so uh, uh, F1 command line command line routines so um, what else we have uh, drive report drive is how you change drives the drives are like DOS um, but the uh, use forward slash instead of backslash for directories um, there's no path there's no standard in and standard out uh, if you think about it um, when you have these uh, Imagine you have standard in. Uh, one time I had remote uh, uh, commands, 
with the serial port, but we don't we don't have serial ports anymore, so I don't have that. Anyway, um, and what I did when I did the remotes, watch what happens if you uh, if you hit Control M. Now you have a state. Imagine this was on a remote machine, and you hit Control M. Uh oh, this is from memory. This is this is a um, this is a state. Uh, so that you can't do standard in and standard out because if you're um, if you hit Control M, um, you have a, you have a state anyway, and it's also dependent on the size of the window uh, when it starts word wrapping. So um, it don't worry, it's 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 pretty good. It uh, I like to say it doesn't work in theory but it works in practice there's a lot of things like that uh, some people are um, someone was talking about uh, special characters for file names oh that's I'm not gonna worry about special cases anyway so uh, let's look at um, Watch this. We're gonna print sprites to the command line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, I'll just do the pound. Remember, I said it feeds into a C compiler. Pound include sprite 